So while I'm waiting on the um, new fuel pump, what I'm going to do is um, just have a very quick compression test on both cylinders and make sure we're getting decent compression. Now, when you're doing a compression test, you should actually do this with a warm engine. So basically, you should you should run it, warm the engine up, st stop it, remove all the spark plugs, and then do a compression test. However, uh, what I'm doing here is uh, is just getting a bit of a guideline. Even with a cold engine, as this is, you should be getting a bit of a guideline as to how how good the compression is and whether it's consistent across the cylinders or within a consistent range. So. I'm going to switch that on and give it a bit of a crank and see what we get. Okay, that's good. So we've got, uh, as you can see on there, hopefully if I angle that right, we've got a reading of about 9 bar and that's on a cold engine. That's just in the start of the green band, which, which is good. Green for good. Um, and that's on a stone cold engine that hasn't been run, which indicates good compression. I'm going to do the same test on the front cylinder and just see that uh, see if we're about the same kind of area. Which is I'm just removing these little bits of tissue here, which I uh, I had bummed in there just to stop any. Debris falling down into the cylinders. Ignition on. You'll notice you don't hear the fuel pump priming. That's because it's disconnected and that's because until I've uh, stripped the carbs and fitted the new fuel pump, I don't want it pumping any fuel, no matter how weak or rubbish it is at the job. Currently, I don't want it pumping any fuel into those carburetors. So here goes with the front cylinder. Okay. Um, as you can hopefully see from that, it's upside down, so apologies, but uh, just over 9 bar. The other one was just under 9 bar, but that means that they're both within the same kind of range, which is good. That's a good sign, so huge thumbs up on that one. Excellent stuff. Just a little video there, a little short one, uh, using the compression tester just to check the compression on both cylinders. That's with a stone cold engine, both around the 9 bar, which is right in the start of the green band, as you can see on there uh, the green band is essentially a good average range don't take that as gospel though because each engine differs some some engines are quite low compression but run perfectly fine some engines are very high compression uh, performance wise and what have you and will run higher than the green band um, but that is a good gauge. Now that's a stone cold engine, which means when warm and retested, that would be shooting right pretty much in the middle of the green band or thereabouts. It should be running about 11 or 12 bar. And, uh, and that's a good figure. So the most important thing at this stage is that both cylinders are given a consistent reading. When you've got a problem is when you're, uh, you're running, say, you'd be running 9 bar on one and say only 6 bar on the other one and that's when you'd know that there was something amiss. Now that could be something as simple as valve clearances and what have you and that is something we're going to be tackling in a later video so check back for that one when it happens. The valve clearances on this are very straightforward, a little bit fiddly to get to but very straightforward. So that's it for that one, check back for further updates and thank you for watching.